What's up, guys? Washington week. Man, oh man, what a fun past few weeks it's been. On vacation, uh, Midwest uh, vacation. Took took some time to go see the family. It was great. And uh, left on Sunday morning, early, early Sunday morning, before the Cal game, or after the Cal game, I should say. Um, so I got to watch us beat Cal, and that was great. Really impressed with how the team played, especially defensively. I was really excited uh, how that went. Then the bye, and now it's Washington week, and we play Washington tomorrow. So some of you will get to see this before the game, and some of you won't. And um, that's just how I chose to do it. I didn't want to make a pre-recorded video. Um, I thought about it, but I thought about doing a pre-recorded, but it just wouldn't have felt right. So here it is. This is my Washington video, and man... Am I ready to beat Washington tomorrow? This this is going to be a big, big game for both teams. It's going to really decide how each of the season, each of the team season goes. You know, Oregon sitting, you know, with one loss. It's Stanford. Stanford got beat by Utah. Uh, so Stanford and Oregon are now even. They Stanford does own the tie break, but uh, only by that game. If Stanford were to lose another game to a conference opponent, be it Washington, be it anybody. Oregon jumps into the lead in the Pac-12 North with a win tomorrow, and um, that would be huge. That would be absolutely huge for this program, huge for Mario Cristobal, and I'm excited. I, I have full faith in this team that we can go out and get the W. It's going to be a lot about finishing, like we didn't do against Stanford, like we did do against Cal. Finishing, it's going to come down to that. Limiting penalties, limiting mistakes, it's what cost us against Stanford was mistakes, not so much penalties. Um, we're pretty healthy going into Saturday. Uh, Tony Brook James, I think, is back full go. He only took kickoff duties against Cal. Uh, CJ Verdell is getting more and more reps every week. It's really exciting to see him become the back uh, like I thought he would. Um, Tony never really truly impressed me as an every down back, but I'm not a coach. Um, Austin Fowlew is um, is healthy. Uh, Andrew Fowlew, his brother, is looking to get more reps. Uh, also, it's a big recruiting weekend. I believe the number one recruit in the country is going to be there. Massive, massive uh, guy, a defensive end, huge position to need. Obviously, you're always going to you know want the number one player in the country, and no matter if it's a position to need or not, you want him. And for the Ducks to even get a visit is huge. So let's knock it out of the park and. Hopefully lock up a commitment. Speaking of that, we did lock up a four-star uh, linebacker earlier in the week. Uh, Casey, Jared Casey, I believe his name. Welcome to the flock. It, it's great. It's, talk about position and need linebacker. Um, linebacker is a huge position and need. You can never have too much depth at such a physical and, you know, vital position. So all in all, it was, you know, a fun two weeks. Oregon won right before I left. Started it off with a bang. Uh, had a nice bye. Nobody got hurt in practice from what I know. And now it's ready for Washington and Washington tomorrow. I will be doing a live stream of the game. It starts at 2.30. So I will be doing that. And come down and enjoy the live stream. It's going to be a big game. Big live stream. And I'm super excited. Y'all have a great one. Huck the motherfucking Fuskies. Hate you dogs. Hate you dogs. As always, guys, go Ducks and beat the hell out of Washington.